This level, he's a star already. This is not. It's a, it's amazing. Again, you know, you know firsthand. I've told you all day where where he's going. You know, again, he's shown everyone <clears throat> what kind of uh, star he is. You know, the fact that you can come into a market like this and be able to to bring out the fans. Uh, it's just remarkable, you, you know, when you look around in boxing, you know, he's at the very, very, very top, you know, um, and we're just excited, excited for Saturday night, give the fans a great show. Uh, it felt great, you know, um, just, you know, coming back to Atlanta, I, I believe this is my second home, uh, um, this is my first fight here, but uh, God when it won't be my last, you know, uh, it's amazing to fight in the city of Atlanta. You know, so I'm grateful. Um, I'm grateful for my team, my um, my stable mates, and things like that that push me hard each and every day. Um, I'm just a little kid that's soaking it all in in the candy store and ready to go hard Saturday night. Is that where all the smiles was coming? I know you're a very ferocious person in the ring, but there's a lot of smiles throughout the whole thing. Is that confidence or just excitement? Uh, just excitement. You know, I've been here you know, um, for you know, quite time now. Probably like a year now. I've been making it. So I remember, you know, me coming to you know um, press conference to 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 um, you know, workouts to you know actually going to fights between um, Floyd and Adrian and things like that. So I'm soaking it all in right now. It's just around the corner. It felt feel great to be able to you know, do my own thing. And, um, it's called George too. Learn from right out from the guys that we can you know, we can me, man of work me for now. You feel good at this weight, you know. What do you think? Take long at all. You haven't fought yet, but throughout training camp, do you feel you know really good, healthy, replenished throughout this? Week? Yeah, I think I feel great. You know, uh, we want we want to know till Saturday night, but um, as of right now, I feel great. Um, I'm at weight, things like that. Um, all we waiting for is Saturday night. And then after you get past this opponent, no more just regular, but pay per view. Is that what we're looking at? Pay per view, um, Dante. It's, I'm all I'm I'm all for whatever's you know um, in the future for me whether it's pay per view whether it's you know it's not you know I'm just I'm ready to be you know um, the star boxer you know um, I'm young I'm hungry you know, I can only control what I can control and my team do the rest. Do you, do you feel that at this weight class that? You know, politics was a lot of prevention in the other weight class, but you feel like the fights can get easier made in this one, you know? Um, I'm not for sure. I, I don't know. I'm just, you know, doing my job, and my job is to fight. You know, my team, you know, um, they were promotion, and it, you know, uh, Kyle Hayman and Floyd, you know, uh, they do that job outside the ring, you know, so um, I, I fight whoever they put in front of me. What does it say? There's a major football game, but everybody's buying tickets to your fight. It's the holiday season. Everybody spent money on Christmas presents. They're coming to see Tank. How does it make you feel? Uh, I feel great. You know, at first I was a little shooken up. You know, it's fighting around, uh, you know, Christmas and thing like that. I thought it was going to sell good, but we doing great. You know, um, it showed that I'm one of the big draws in the, in the uh, sport of boxing, and um, it's just amazing. I, I feel like you know. Um, I want to stay on the humble side and appreciate everything and not get too big headed and then, you know, um, out my career and things like that. So um, I've seen a lot of people get, you know, over cocky and things switch from, you know, things like that. So I'm appreciative. Again, I, I've been around top guys when they was doing that thing and um, I'm thankful to be here today. How did you spend your Christmas? Uh, I spent my Christmas training. I actually, matter of fact, I trained. I, I ran and then and then I went to my uh, my daughter's house around like four or five uh, in the morning and uh, you know woke up and you know, spent Christmas with her. And I came right back to my hotel, and laid down, went to sleep. Tank, how does it feel that now? Actually, of Atlanta, surround you with love, you know, support. Yeah, uh, it's amazing. You know, this is my first time fighting in Atlanta. And, uh, they showed me uh, top support and love 
things like that. It, it means a lot, you know. Um, it's just, I don't know, I just get, gotta thank my team, uh, thank God, and you know, continue to do what I do best, and that's uh, give them my all, you know, and, uh, be the best I can be. I want to ask you a question about Coach Mustafa. How has Coach Mustafa uh, mentored you and what it is that he is doing um, with, with your young fighter and uh, uh, the Michael Harris? Uh, he doing, uh, Mustafa, Coach Mustafa, I worked with him before, uh, I want to say uh, right before this camp, I think, <laughs> and before I, I got into camp. Uh, he's a great coach. I like him. He's, he's uh, not just a coach, but he's a mentor. So. Um, he reminds me of one of my, uh, my coach Calvin. You know, uh, he doing great with the Michael. You know, uh, the Michael actually fighting on the other card, so I be watching his fight. That's another young champ that's on his way. You know, after me and things like that. So um, we just blessed to be here. You still going to wear your minky even if it's hot outside? I know Leonard was talking about having a fashion show. <laughs> Definitely got to wear my mink. I don't care if it's like 90 degrees. I'm wearing my mink. Wear that joint. <laughs> <joke. laughs> Recently, uh, Forbes magazine released the highest earning athletes in the last 10 years. Mayweather number one, Pacquiao number two boxers on a top 10 list. And how's it make you feel? Mayweather did it in seven years? Uh, I mean, it's... He set the ball high. He set the ball high, not just for boxers, but for athletes. But we, who it, it, it's never um, unexpected from Floyd Mayweather. You know, he's he's the goat. Uh, he had before in some years. Now he's still on top. I got a great He just pushed me harder to you know work harder to get them uh, reach them goals. Not just you know his little goals. You know, I mean the little accomplishments he made. You know, them big goals for me. You know, so um, it showed me that I ain't did nothing in this sport yet. So I'm working. Leonard, how proud are you of Floyd? Um, very very proud. Um, again, he's he had a. Uh, a outstanding career. He he um, set paths for a lot of these young fighters to follow behind him. And I'm telling y'all now again, watch where we had in 2030. We're gonna see who at the top of that list. I'm telling y'all. Now, can I ask? Him, maybe we can give a sneak peek. The last fight that I was at, I just walked past Pusha T. So the celebrities definitely come out. Can you give any sneak peeks of who may kind of come out, or you just have to tune in? And tune in, tune in. They coming. They coming. They they coming. They, they coming. We we got we got something for y'all too. From all different all different walks of life. Not just urban stars. Speaking of walks, do you have your ring walk already planned out? Uh, still thinking about it. I, I'm still I'm still skeptical. You had it's a, close, it's close. You had the January one with the Thriller. Yeah, I don't know yeah. how you're going to do yeah, that. Yeah, I'm still trying to pick my mind. How important was it for you to get Baltimore natives, your brothers and sisters, on the card with you um, in your second home? Actually, um, two of them actually signed the Midwest promotions. Yeah, to Hawk, too. So, Malik. Um, Malik Hawkins and um, Malik Long. You know, so that was a great move. You know, um, just them being on the card, just us being together and not spread it out, it, it, I think it helped us, you know, it feel like, I, on my behavior, it feel like, you know, it's regular gym stuff to me, so, it's more relaxing for me, so, uh, I think that worked in my favor, so, um, I'm thankful for them to be on the undercard just as well, they probably thankful you know, uh, for them to be, their self to be on the undercard, so, um, we just ready, Saturday night. Put on a great performance, get a boxing fan what they want to see. Um, 2020, we coming home. What What advice did you give your sister who's turning pro for the first time, first fight, big stage? Uh, man, Ella, she she actually been around for some time. She been around. She been in the gym since since I effort. Like yeah. I actually sparred with man when I was. I yeah, was, she told me. Yeah, in, in I Baltimore. actually sparred with her when I was young. I was. I, I, I probably was like. I want to say 10, and we, we got pictures of it. You were 10 and yeah. you were sparring her? Yeah. Oh, okay. And she probably was like, how old were you? Man. How old was you? How old was you? This year. He was like, well, you, yeah, she was like four years old. When, yeah. when you won your first uh, yeah, national. Yeah, I won my first national. She sparred it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So she, she actually got ready, got <laughs> me ready for. He was laughing the whole um, time. And he wasn't the one at all. 
the tournament. So that's oh, definitely wow. a great um, fighter. She's a great fighter, and I'm, I'm happy for her that she turned a pro. She she on the undercard. Take, take and, through um, the side door. It means a lot to me. Tank, is it a little weird that everyone's giving out the year and awards when we still have a fight? You could have knockout of the year. You could have fight of the year. Uh, I don't think I don't, I don't get into that. You know, uh, them guys did do that thing uh, this year. Uh, I'm closing the year out, so uh, congrats to them guys that you know that got awards of the year. Uh, we'll see December the 28th. Hey, Tank, you had a All right, beer. Well, Tank, this is the last uh, question. You, you had after, a after your win. You speak with a lot of confidence, and we really like that. So after your win, who do you want to fight next? Um, it's it's for me. My focus is you know Gamboa. You know, uh, <laughs> 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 I, don't, I don't look past Gamboa because I know you know um, he's a tough opponent. He actually been at this stage way before me, so um, I'm just looking for a great fight and um, do what I do best, and that's you know put on a great performance. Okay, guys. We'll Thanks a lot. Best. Appreciate it. She's so well mannered, Tank. Hey? She doesn't cry, doesn't complain. I'm not quite Kelly Swanson, but I'm doing a pitch. <laughs> so, if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button, and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego the future of boxing.